Even though we had to cancel our traditional Thanksgiving, I cannot tell you how grateful I am for the miracle that we received. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Michelle. This is Journaling with Jesus. And if you're new here, welcome. I know it's been a few days since we've talked. Um, <laughs> Something horrible, but incredible and miraculous happened over Thanksgiving. We actually had to cancel our Thanksgiving and um, I can't wait to tell you about this. I'm gonna record this video today, but I wanna give you just a, a little preview of what's coming because I've got some amazing testimony to share for you guys. This miracle brings Thanksgiving to a whole nother meaning. Even though we had to cancel the traditional turkey, we're gonna do that later, but even though we had to cancel our traditional Thanksgiving, I cannot tell you how grateful I am for the miracle that we received. For anyone who wants to say the salvation prayer, I have included that in the last couple minutes of this video. So do stick around for that if you want to work on your relationship with God and, and learn how you too can start learning to hear from God. So all it takes is just belief and faith, guys. Faith. That's all you need. Faith in what Jesus did for us when he died on the cross for all of our sins. I've got some amazing testimony to share for you guys. Undeniable proof that, that God is alive and he speaks to us today. So I, I, I'm so excited to share this with you. I can't wait. And, and if you can't wait, leave hashtag miracle down below because it is so exciting. Guys, I, I actually got messages from God. You know, these things that were happening as I was going through them. I was getting messages all along the way and I cannot wait to share these confirmation and this testimony with you. And if you can't wait, leave me a comment down below that says hashtag miracle because guys, you're gonna be so excited. I, I, I'm telling you, it was an awful thing, but God let me know all along the way that he was right there for me. He was right there holding my hand and that everything was gonna be okay. And I cannot wait to share this testimony with you. So if you're excited to leave me hashtag miracle down below in the comments, I'm, I'm just, I can't wait to share you with you and hopefully it'll be up next week. Something horrible happened, but it turned out so beautifully. So it was just incredible and I can't wait to share it with you, but this is just a little preview and just wanted to come on today and tell you that I'm still here. I just had to take a little break because of a family emergency and I'm going to share that story with you very, very soon. I'm going to record it today and hopefully get it out to you by early next week. So it's an incredible story. Whew, I can't wait to share it with you guys. It's exciting. Okay, so I would just like to say a quick little salvation prayer. Please don't skip the prayer. It's really important. I want to say a quick salvation prayer for anyone who wants to come to Jesus. This is for you. Okay, so please bow your heads and pray with me. I'd like you to say, please, Father God, I am tired of trying to do this life my way. I have stumbled and struggled. I am weak, weary, and worn. I need your help. I need you to guide me so that I can avoid the traps that this life has set to steal away my soul and my inheritance. I need you, Father God, to take over in my life. Please help set me upright on your path. Let me walk in your will. Help me to be more like your perfect son whom you sent to this earth to be sacrificed for my salvation. I pray, Father God, that if there is any yoke that is not your yoke, let that be broken off of me. Let me be free from any evil spirit or curse that is set to bind me. Lead me, guide me, live inside me. Lead me into your perfect grace and rest. Help me to see the error of my ways through your gentle correction and wisdom so that I can easily begin to drift away from the things in this earthly life that are holding me back from my heavenly inheritance. Father God, please forgive me for all of my sins, past, present, and future, known and unknown. For on this day, I declare, I believe in the finished work of your son, Yeshua, who was tortured and died, nailed to a tree to cleanse me of all of my sins and transgressions. Father, I believe that on the third day, you rose him from death. He ascended into heaven and is now and forevermore seated at your right hand. Thank you, Father God, for sending your beloved and only begotten Son to die in my place for my sins. With this prayer, I bring praise, honor, and glory to him with remembrance and awe. I am eternally grateful for his sacrifice, which he gladly paid on my behalf so that I could have the chance at forgiveness and salvation solely through my faith in what he did for me when he died for me. Thank you. 
In the mighty name of Yeshua, my King and Savior, I humbly pray. Amen. We'll talk soon. Love you guys. Bye-bye. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. It really helps us grow. Subscribe, share, and turn on the bell notification. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for sharing. Your support means the world to us. Until next time, never stop learning to grow wherever you're presently planted.